So stretching the outer muscles of the hip. Um, if you work out a lot, you obviously are using your hips a lot. We like to use these muscles in workouts because they get the most functional movement and they also um, are the most effective in calorie burning. So when you're stretching these muscles, there's a couple of really important components that you wanna do with the thread the needle stretch. Now I'm gonna ask Joelle to do a basic thread the needle to show you what we're trying to um, accomplish when we do it against the wall. So I'm gonna have you just cross your right leg over your left. And now Joelle is going to try and grasp through his good and you can sit up and do this if you need to so you see what starts to happen his head has to come off the ground his back rounds and his tailbone comes off all those things can be prevented and make the stretch more effective if you have a wall to you so go ahead and release now I'm just gonna have him do this against the wall you could also have a partner where you're putting your foot on their leg to do this so Joel is going to do this stretch with his foot against the wall. He's going to kind of crank his leg down here, put a slight bit of flexion in his foot to protect the lateral side of his knee. And then he's going to make an L shape with his right hand. And he's going to seat his finger right into his hip crease. Good. I'm sorry, seat his thumb into his hip crease. And then he's going to take his hand and push his hip we don't want to push on the knee you've probably seen this push before or wanted to do that we don't do that because the knee is a hinge joint it's not a ball and socket like the hip and it doesn't move that way so it can do some damage over long periods of time to the knee and i do want him to hold this for about 90 seconds now i'm thinking he's feeling a stretch because i can hear him breathing now if he's not feeling a stretch i just simply have him move closer to the wall with his backside so that this angle becomes more intense so he's gonna continually press this hip towards the wall. He's gonna rotate his chin down a little bit so the base of the skull, good, is on the mat. And because the cervical spine, the neck, and the lumbar spine, the low back balance each other, it's important to try and get the base of your skull onto the mat and flatten out your neck a little bit. So holding this and breathing nice and slow for about 90 seconds will really be effective in releasing the low back, releasing the hip girdle without damaging the knee and without getting the counter, counter effective uh, rounding of the upper back. So this is gluteus and hip stretch.